Good morning, guys. We talked on Twitter about how to use studio tools to actually record our lectures for our students. And I promised I would actually um, do some videos to show how I do this. Um, I will start by actually showing what the tool is capable of. And for this, I'm starting with a black video, as you noticed, but we can do all sorts of things. So let me first uh, bring myself into the frame uh, because this will actually give you a sense of uh, the fact that yes, I have a camera, I have a green screen, uh, I can put uh, various things in the composition, a video, a logo as well that you actually can see in the corner. That's, uh, by the way, this is the logo of the software I use for doing all of this. But this is not it. I can actually put backgrounds. And that's something that's quite nice because my background, and see this one came in a little more slowly because I chose to, uh, but I have basically a green screen behind me and that gives me perfect transparency, which allows for a uh, better rendition uh, on the display of what things look like. Now, of course, uh, that's not very useful because there is lots of empty space right all around me. And uh, if I want to lecture, I'd like to put that space to good use. So what I can do instead is uh, bring myself in the corner. And once I've done that, is to actually uh, bring interesting content into the view. And for instance, I could say, hey, slides. And I bring up my slides, right? So now that I have the slides here, I can actually start lecturing. And this is Keynote because I'm on a Mac. So if I go in there and I start moving, I can do my lecture. By the way, all the animations that you would have in your keynote presentation will be visible. Uh, all the transition, everything uh, would work. I could capture other material. It works with PowerPoint as well. Uh, notice as well that if I want, I can bring up a laser pointer to highlight anything I want on the slide, right? I don't have to gesture and try to point to the screen. I can actually use uh, my mouse to actually do illustration and, and alert students to some points. I can hide the laser pointer and I can resume my explanation. Here it's a lecture uh, for a course I will be delivering this fall. That's uh, system programming. Uh, and it covers, for example, the concept of fork. And it's kind of neat, you know, you, you cover the theory of everything. Uh, and at some point you're going to do something like, hey, showing code. Now, we typically do that. We show code and we explain what's going on. But if we want to do something a little more interesting, what about actually giving the kids an opportunity to really see what is going on and appreciate that by doing a demo of the code? And that is something we can, of course, do. So I can switch to a terminal. Now that I have a terminal here rather than my slides, I can actually say, OK, I have a bunch of source file and we want to take a look at that fork example. So I bring it up. Uh, it's actually already running. So I, I just bring it up. I put it in the foreground and I show them the code. And here, notice how I can move around. I can edit. I can compile. I can make modifications. It's, it's pretty neat. Uh, by the way, what you see above, right, uh, above my head, is a panel that shows all my keystrokes so that the students know exactly what I do. So for example, I had, can hit Control Z to put it in the background. And then I can say, oh, let's compile that program and uh, simply compile it. Then I can execute it. I can actually explain everything that this is doing. But now they really see the code running, not just the theory, not just looking at the example on the slide. Now, this is great and it allows me to do quite a few things, but that is not the end of it. I can even go further. Because if I'm explaining fork, I might want maybe to illustrate some of the concept. And in a classroom, in a real physical classroom, I would have a blackboard to do that. Uh, that is not available when we're electronic. Or is it? Well, actually, you can manage to do that. And I can actually say, let's bring the screen of my iPad, where I can make drawing and I can live. This is a drawing I've done, right? This one, uh, actually covering this material um, when I c explain pipes and this is an application and I can actually use it to draw. I can use a pen and I can do illustration. No, normally I have my pen. I couldn't find it for doing this video, so I'm doing it with my fingers. But if you have a pen and an iPad, you can actually do whatever you want. You can create multiple board. You can go back and forth. Uh, you can actually do all your illustration. You can pick up objects, you can move them. L sky's the limit, really, in terms of what you're doing, right? So you can grab things, you can move them. This is really convenient 
you can actually explain everything that is happening uh, to the student and do illustration in the in the middle. So we cover the theory, we cover the illustration of running the code, and we cover uh, the description of how this works by actually drawing uh, live and having a discussion. Here in this video, you just hear my audio. I didn't show anything else, but I can actually import audio source and I can import even video sources. I can bring any kind of movies, any kind of things that I want to show it will be recorded. If it can play on my screen, I can get it across, right? And that is the beauty of it. So that gives you a sense of what's possible. Uh, and with that, I think that uh, it's a good idea to actually um, wrap up with this. If you're interested, let me know. Uh, I'll try to actually now maybe do some videos to show how to use this tool uh, called OBS to actually do all of that. Uh, OBS is free. Um, the only expenses I had to incur is for the hardware, video, audio, lights, green screen, uh, to actually create that studio that allows me to do that. But the software, um, pretty much everything is included with my Mac uh, and the rest is open source. Uh, with that, um, I'm wrapping up and um, I hope this is useful. And if you want to see more, just let me know. See you.